Uh, Chris Watts, W-A-T-T-S. My last question is, if your wife can see this, if she, if she can watch these, what would, you, what would you like to tell your wife and your kids? Shannon, Bella, Celeste, if you're out there, just, just, just come back. Like, I need to see everybody again. Christopher Watts is the world's most hated daddy. He confessed to killing his 15 weeks pregnant wife and his two beautiful daughters, Bella and Celeste. Before he annihilated his entire family, Chris was in a romantic, physical relationship with his co-worker, Nicole Kessinger. I know most of you are for the opinion that Kessinger might have manipulated Chris into killing his family, and that's why today we are going to take a look at the details of their relationship that really stood out to try and see if um, it was Nicole Kessinger who was manipulating him or if um, it was Chris who was manipulating Nicole Kessinger into falling in love with him. And first of all, let us take a look at a report that Nicole Kessinger gave to CBI and see if um, we can make something out of it. Uh, so Chris brought two boxes of condoms to the house of Nicole Kessinger and uh, one of the boxes was partially used. We know that Kessinger asked a lot of questions about that and um, in the end she did a Google search where she concluded that the boxes were either manufactured in early in late 2017 or early 2018. And my question about this is, uh, why would Chris bring boxes of condoms? Why would he transfer them from his matrimonial home to, his, to the house of his mistress? It means that psychologically in his head, he had gotten rid of Shannon Watts. And um, in his heart, he did not really want to have the both of them in his life because if he did, then he would have left the boxes at home and bought new boxes for Kessinger. When I look at this case without leaning on anybody's side, I find it very easy to realize that Kessinger was a very mature woman because I do believe that she was aware Chris was married and that his wife was pregnant. But she continued with the affair, probably hoping or believing that Chris was going to leave Shannon for her. She's very childish. And this probably was what made her an easy target for Chris because she was the complete opposite of Shannon. Concerning a Google search about Amber Frey and her book deal, I think it was too early for her to search that and it shows that she's not really intelligent. Another factor that would have made her a target for Chris as a mistress. There you go, baby. You are so damn sexy. <laughs> it's me. I miss your face. I was just calling to say hi. I'm having a wonderful time. You mean a lot to me. And I'm glad that you're having a blast. I am so out of breath. This shocked me just as much as I think it shocked the rest of us. 